In this video, I'm going to be doing the Mars mod on the ICOM 756 Pro 3, coming up right now. Hello everybody, Rudy here from Tegabath Productions with another video to help you repair various things. Today we're going to be doing the Mars mod on the ICOM IC756 Pro 3. Okay, let's dive right in. Okay, as you can see, I've got all the covers off of the radio. What we're looking at is the bottom side of the radio. Uh, you're going to have to take the top cover off as well to get to the bottom cover. So just take both covers off. This is the DSP unit. You're going to have to remove this. Uh, the way it looks, this DSP unit will plug in either way. So if you've noticed, I took a marker and marked the front of the radio. Okay, so obviously the front of the radio is that way. Uh, this comes off real easy. Just grab a hold of it with uh, all four corners and pull straight up like that. And when you put that back, these pins are very delicate, so make sure you don't bend any of those pins. Okay, once you got the DSP pulled out and set aside, you're going to want to remove 3751 and 3752. They're both right there, right in a row. So, obviously these little diodes are very tiny. Uh, some people like to uh, try to crush them and pull them out, but do don't do that because you're liable to rip up the trace on the circuit board and cause all kinds of problems that you don't want to have. Uh, so we're going to try to unsolder those. Uh, what I usually like to do is heat the diode up on one side and try to get an X-Acto knife and get under it and just put a little bit of upward pressure on there while you're heating it up and a lot of times that's all you need to do. Okay. Okay, carefully apply heat there. See, got it loose. Let me get some tweezers and pull him out of the way. Let's get the other one out. Okay, those two are out. Okay, I got both the diodes out. I usually like to take a little contact cleaner and just kind of clean up the traces a little bit. And that's about it. All right, let's, uh, let's hook it back up and see if it works. We're on uh, 10 megahertz, as you can see, which is definitely a frequency that it should not transmit into. So before anybody gets upset, I am in a dummy load. I would never attempt to uh, transmit on this frequency. All right. So as you can see, it's transmitting. has 100 watts on 10 megahertz. Put that in PEP mode, so let's... Uh, audio! Audio! There you go. It's working. Alright. I'm going to go to one more frequency, and I am not endorsing this frequency either. I just know that it shouldn't transmit here. And anybody that knows what that frequency is knows that it shouldn't be transmitted 
even if it does transmit. But we're in a dummy load. I'm just trying to prove that the radio works. That's all. Audio. Audio. All right. That's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, click on the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I come out with videos like this as often as I can. Thanks for watching. 73.